So how do you measure the closing of the sale, closing the sale or an upsell or anything that's a definitive step in a big ticket item sale, such as a car? So this store behind you, they sell cars. But if you go somewhere like this place over here, if you look over at this coffee place, you can measure the coffee sales in terms of very precise customer walks in, how many people bought at that point. And you can measure the cross sales. So we'll go in and do a mystery shop and measure cross-selling within a coffee shop. So for example, would you like a, a cake to go with your clock? Very normal. But with a car or any other big ticket item, it's very different because you're not going to go in and buy a car immediately and certainly not going to get cross sold. So how do you measure whether the salesperson was affecting? Well, what they need to do is they need to measure what I call the definitive next step. Every customer service interaction has a definitive next step. Now it could be just taking the order in the coffee shop and doing cross-sell, which is a definitive next step from the order. Or it could be in the car dealership, the definitive next step could be to collect the customer's details, and that's all it is. But you've taken a definitive step. You haven't just said something like, oh, have yes. a think about it and come back in when you're ready to buy. No, you can't do that because it's not definitive. You need to be very, very precise about what that step needs to be. Now, this applies even to, to tyres. We've done work with tyre tire retailer in Australia. On the phone, you make a phone call and ask for tyres. What is the definitive next step there? The definitive next step for them is very simply to get the customer to come into a store. So what they are trying to say is not the price. They're trying to say, bring your car in, we'll have a good look at it, and we'll find the tyres that are right for you and for your budget. They know that once the customer comes into the store, they're going to buy. So it's very different to just, again, on the phone saying, hey, have a think about it and give us a call back when you're ready to order, because they're not going to do that. So whether it's a car, whether it's tires, whether it's Botox on your lips, we've done those ones as well. Whenever it's a big ticket item, that's not a quick buy like the coffee shop, you need to have a definitive next step. And you have to have that regardless. That's why I do mystery shopping.